Hi, I'm Jamie Booth. And I'm Kirsty Booth, and this is our journey. We're climbers living on the Gold Coast, and we own and run Alpine Indoor Climbing. We met uh, about 14 years ago, um, and we got married four years ago. Uh, I had planned to propose to her uh, on top of a, a multi-pitch, so it was a four-pitch multi. Um, and uh, after talking to a, a climbing man of mine, I decided uh, to do it the night before, uh, which is a really good idea because um, on the walk home after it, uh, she's very focused on her ring finger and uh, tripping over the path everywhere, so I'm really happy to do that at the top of the mountain. <laughs> I came over to Australia 15, 16 years ago um, to train for kayaking and surf lifesaving. Um, in the off season, uh, I went climbing, I down the local climbing gym and loved it. Um, it was great cross training for that. Um, I tried to get kissed, um, hooked, but it took her a little while. So uh, to get her involved, I, I bought her a harness and shoes for her birthday. Uh, she hated it. Uh, but I eventually talked her around and she loves it now. Hooked. So the reason it took me a little while to get hooked on climbing is that I am absolutely petrified of heights. Uh, about 12 months ago, I ended up pushing myself and pushing past the fear a little bit more than I had in the past and ended up just taking a little bit of a bad fall. Oh. Ha. I can't reach it. Uh, I injured my foot on the way down but that really rattled my head game for quite some time. It's taken me about a year now to start pushing past that again. I do think that I've come back stronger mentally and physically since the fall. Uh, I have managed to even tick that grade that I was struggling with in the past, so I'm very happy pushing boundaries again. Uh, I did end up going back out there to <laughs> climb the climb again. Uh, it's definitely on I guess my bucket list to tick it off as my next challenge. It helped a lot to jump back on it, but I just haven't had a chance to get back out there and really push myself to give it a good send. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it's good to um, have these small little wake up calls. Um, you know, what we're doing is not, not safe and, and there is risk involved. Um, so uh, sometimes those, those little wake up calls are uh, a good thing. Yeah. We opened Alpine in July 2019. Yeah, uh, running a business has definitely been challenging, but we have been so lucky with the people we've met along the way and the community that Alpine has created that it honestly just feels like a second home now. 
Jamie is our head root setter and I'm also on the team. We have a really strong group behind us that every, where everybody climbs outdoors together. One of our greatest goals and I guess achievements for Alpine is to bring the great outdoors indoors. So it's always something new for all our climbers to try to try to get them hooked as well on outdoor climbing. He's one of our little mascots. As far as um, climbing goals, uh, I think what draws us to um, different lines is, is uh, different things for everyone. What draws me to the line is different than what draws Curtis and anyone else. Um, but we, we all have our own personal climbing goals and what we want to get up and achieve. Um, but a big part for, for us is the travel. Um, the, the places you can go, uh, some of the iconic rocks around the world, um, and the travel involved in that as well. This sounds so materialistic. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even wear it, Jamie. <laughs> off season. Um, screwed it. You had. You had. I had a. I got to get too much. Yeah.